world. Paul Whittakin back with the Universal Law of Numbers today. And we have a very special edition uh, from the universe. As I will explain to you uh, about the Fibonacci code and how we find the Fibonacci code embedded within the Universal Law of Numbers. Now, the Universal Law of Numbers, it is the Fibonacci code, but in reality, it's much more than the Fibonacci uh, code, the Fibonacci numbers, or the Fibonacci series. And I will uh, present that uh, argument for you today. No, I don't like that word argument. I'll just present you with the... Um, I will demonstrate to you today how that is in fact true. So, in order to do that... Um, why don't I address, first off, what exactly is the universal law of numbers? Uh, okay, it's, it's the universe. So what exactly is the universe? Well, the universe is everything. Uh, I love the universe, and I love everything about it, from its smallest subatomic particles to its uh, the immense celestial bodies and the galaxies and the solar systems, and all of the planets, and everything that's in it. And, uh, you know, one thing I would have to say is, the universe, it speaks to us. Uh, right now it's speaking to you through me, and I'm just doing the best I can. Uh, but um, in, in reality, uh, it's incomprehensible, because it's omnipotent. It's uh, infinite wisdom, infinite knowledge, and pure truth. So, it gives us a lot of things. It gives us, you know, the people that we love uh, in, on this earth. It's given us Homer, Socrates, Plato. It's given us um, Einstein, Newton, and Tesla. It's given us bombs and Bach and Tchaikovsky. It's given us Beethoven and Mozart. It's given us John Lennon. It gives us everything. It gives us so much, and yet we take it for granted sometimes. You know, I asked uh, the universe for a gift, but in reality the universe had given me, had already given me a gift, and I just didn't notice it. You know, it gave us all the same gift. It gave us the stars in the sky, okay? So you can ask the universe for a gift, and if it's a pure, if it's something pure, uh, something, you know, not uh, money, not fame, not celebrity, just a pure intent, I think it will give it to you too. So I'd have to say, you know, I asked the universe for a gift, and this is what it gave me. Now, I don't think by any means I'm the first person that ever received this gift, but I'm very happy for it, and I'm very happy to share it with you as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to show today uh, we're, me and the universe, okay, uh, are, going to, are going to demonstrate today how the Fibonacci series is embedded inside of the Universal Law of Numbers code, okay? Now, just to clarify, it's always good to clarify things once again. If you're a first comer, uh, what I do is I reduce numbers, okay? And uh, the reason I reduce the numbers is is because the universe tells me to do so. So we have a 369 code, and it's 248751. The 369 code is really 1234567789. And 248751 are the only numbers that are not 3, 6, or 9. 
inside of the 248751 code, which once again is the 369 code, we have the 714 and 417. We have the 818 and the 181. We have the 285 and the 582. It can be 8522. You know, it can be uh, 714, 471, or 417. It doesn't make any difference. They all play a role, and they're quite clearly shown and observed in the table. 417, 714, 248751, 248751. But they're also coming across from side to side, and they're embedded uh, inside... Uh, whether you see them or not, if you are to uh, explore within it, all you'll see are threes and sixes and nines, even though you don't even see a three or a six here. They're just embedded within. The 285528 uh, code, same thing, uh, 714417. They're coming at you from all directions because this is a multi dimensional. Uh, sphere. It's a sphere. It's a circle. And inside of that uh, sphere is every geometric form that you could, uh, you know, possibly come up with. So the beauty of this thing is, is you can talk about it in such a way based on your intuition alone. Uh, you don't need proof because it's the universe we're talking about. The universe is the truth. The universe has infinite wisdom and knowledge. And all I try to do is to understand it. So we'll move on to the Fibonacci code today, Fibonacci numbers, which once again, uh, I reiterate that the universal law of numbers is the Fibonacci code. However, it's more, it's much more than the Fibonacci code. But we'll start with the Fibonacci code, and we will observe that um, if we start from zero and skip three, and then by intervals of uh, one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, bang, and on and on and on forever, we will come up with the code three three nine six six nine okay so that goes on into infinity as with the Fibonacci code if we are to take the Fibonacci code and reduce the numbers of course uh, and we start with the first one in the Fibonacci code and we take the same intervals, one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, bang. We will come up with the two, four, eight, seven, five, one code, which is the three, six, nine code as well. Okay? And this is the three, six, nine code. This is the three, six, nine code. If we were to start from the second one in the Fibonacci series, we will come up with the code using those intervals. One, two, three, bang. One, two, three, bang. One, eight, one, eight, one, eight. Just to verify, one, eight, one, eight, one, eight. Which, again, it's three, six, nine. Uh, it's two, four, eight, seven, five, one, which is three, six, nine. Okay, um, now uh, I'm just showing you here how they start, okay? Now if we're to start from the second two in the series, which is the, the number three here, the third number not including zero, which we have, <laughs> uh, in the universe we have our own opinion of zero, okay? And, and we won't uh, discuss that in any detail today, but uh, if you start from the 2 right there, and you include the 2, you will also come up with the 248751 code, and that will continue on. And I'll show you that. For instance, I'm just showing you 
the 339669 code uh, once again, but we'll continue it because it repeats into infinity. 339669339669339. And now we're up to the 60th first number, and it continues 669, where we left off. 339. And 6 continues as well. And I'm showing you it alongside the 751248, which is the 248751 code. 248751, which continues. And I just took it up to 100 because I think that's sufficient to demonstrate uh, that it does continue on forever. 669, left off with the 6 there. 6, 9, and left off with the 7, 5, 1, 2. So that continues on into infinity. And I'll just show you a couple more uh, to demonstrate the other codes as they're traveling along side by side. If we have the 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1 code, then obviously we have the 471741 code. Obviously we have the 2588825528 code. And they're all traveling through the circle and repeating over and over again. So, um, you know, the Fibonacci series is not typically described uh, as a circle because we know the formations that it um, results in. But in reality, I guess whatever that is, that's a form of a circle as well. You know, you could say the straight line is a circle, because when you connect it at the tips, uh, it becomes a circle. And I guess Fibonacci code might be understood like that as well. But I'm just showing you uh, here, it's starting at, at, the, at the two... 248751, which has the 471, and the 285, and I'm just, just demonstrating it here, you know, because it's the 248751, must have been left off with the 2, down here, 2, 48751, 248, continuing to 751, which 852, or 174, if you like, 471. And I just continue it on here to show you how the sequence uh, continues there as well. So, um, well, I hope you learned something today. And uh, Paul Whittakin signing out from the University of the Universe.